Come around, boys and girls. I'm about to tell you a story about the myth, the legend, the greatest pirate to ever sail the seven seas. It's about time. I've been waiting to hear this story. Yeah, yeah. I'll put money on half of it being made up. How does two doubloons sound? Make it four. Oi! Shut up! I'm talking here. Didn't your mother ever teach you not to interrupt your elders? My mother worked in the inn. So? In Kaluga. Ah! Never mind. So, old Pete, what about the story? What? A story? What? What story? Oh, that's right. The story of the greatest pirate ever known. He sailed all around the world by the time he was 15. Honed his skills with the blade and gunpowder by 16. Becoming a master of his own crew at just 19. The world's greatest tactician. He could destroy entire English and Spanish forts with just one ship and a good crew. He made alliances that most would struggle to form. His charisma knew no bounds, born with a silver tongue. Every word he spoke like poetry, beautiful music to one's ears. He amassed great treasure over his life. He owned rivers of gold and diamonds, precious gems that glittered in the sun. His riches, a result of his great successes. This man, this warrior, this champion of pirates everywhere, the world over, this, this captain, this captain was by far the greatest pirate to ever live. The greatest man I have ever met. And a very dear friend. This pirate, the one often referred to as the Pirate King, his name was none other than... Captain Schwobbly Richard. Schwobbly Richard. Yes, that was his name. The greatest pirate to ever be known. Swobbly Richard, the one who conquered... Whoa, 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 whoa. His name was Swobbly Richard. Swobbly Richard. Um, yes... Swobbly Richard. His name was Swobbly Dick. Oh, God. <laughs>